The days leading up to the 4th of July hold a special place in the hearts of a refugee family celebrating a big milestone of their own in Washington. This week marks exactly one year since the family moved to King County. The siblings escaped Afghanistan during the U.S.'s chaotic final days in that country, and they have settled into their new home here with the help of local families in Seattle. Fox 13's Nia Wong is live in our newsroom on how their lives have changed. Nia? These families tell me that helping the Mohammadi siblings has been an eye-opening experience. And the same sponsor families are working on a new project to keep the Mohammadis on the road to success. Sana Mohammadi remembers his days as a former security guard for the U.S. Embassy in Kabul as dangerous work. But work that he was proud of. Work that helped him and his four younger siblings secure spots on the last flights out of Afghanistan. Thousands of people rushed to the airport to... Uh, trying to uh, outside the country. The siblings escaped in 2021, forcing Sana to step into a new role as head of his household. This is a new challenge for me because in Afghanistan, my father is colonel to a national army, but 2021, 2020 September, he died. The chaotic scenes of America's last days in Afghanistan were seen around the world sticking with Nelson Jay as he watched from the United States. Uh, you know, it's heartbreaking. I mean, honestly, we just felt terrible when we saw the images on TV of the planes leaving and people clinging to the wheels. Which is why Nelson and three more families in Northeast Seattle decided to adopt the Mohammadis, welcoming the five siblings into Seattle a year ago this week. I have to say it makes me proud to be an American because we all learned a lot. It's been so rewarding. In the past year, these families have celebrated holidays, graduations, and exploring all that life in America has to offer together. Nelson still checks in with Sana at home and sometimes unexpectedly at Sana's job. I've bumped into Sana at SeaTac several times when I've been flying, and it's so great to see him and, you know, we give him a big hug. Nelson has a lot of help me. I never forgot that. Zana now helps everyone who needs him working at TSA. A help passenger cannot walk into a wheelchair. Though the Mohammadis are settling in, the Jays are still looking out for them. As uh, refugees and immigrants get jobs, it proportionally reduces the amount of available funds that they can get through the programs that, are, that they're eligible for. The Jays have started a GoFundMe to help Sana get a car to help him juggle life at work and at home. In addition to being an uh, older brother, he's in a unique position that he moved to the U.S. with his four siblings, and he's acting as parent and primary caregiver and breadwinner, and it's, uh, it's a big project. Nelson is proud of the Mohammadi's progress, and he hopes other families in Washington will be inspired to help, too. It's awesome. We're, this is what you want to see with uh, refugees that arrive here, and they're contributing. I mean, all of them are making a difference.